GG celebrities here. <laughs> Today we're gonna be making something super fun. I know I look a little different. I did something with my hair. I'm just kidding. Okay, okay, I fixed my hair and I'm back. I am back. Today, something very interesting is happening in this kitchen. A lot of weird things happen in this kitchen actually, but this might be hands down the weirdest. In fact, I've told a couple people what I plan on doing today and they were too scared, too scared to come over to my house to try it. Sounds promising. Basically what I plan on doing today is taking some chicken, sweet potatoes, onions, and some herbs and spices, maybe some chicken bone broth, throwing it all in a blender and making a chicken-like smoothie, I guess. And after I combine all of these ingredients together, I am going to pour it over some eggplant and zucchini that I have zoodled or noodled or whatever the heck you wanna call it. it. Sounds absolutely repulsive, but who knows? You might be about to watch Genius Take Place. Trust me. I'm a food blogger. Okay, so in order for this to happen, I need a blender. And I've got my ninja here. My ninja's gonna kick some ass. Put it right here on the little ninja machine. First things first, I am going to throw in the sweet potato. In the blender it goes. Now I also have some roasted onion that I've chopped up. And I'm gonna throw that in there too about a half an onion, and that was about two ounces of sweet potato. Now, here is my chicken. Looks really weird that I'm holding it like such, but I promise you it's cooked, it's ready to go in, and this right here is actually US Wellness Meats free range chicken breast. But before I put these in the blender, I think I'm gonna cut them up into littler pieces just so I can help my ninja out a little bit. See, just like that, with your hand. I mean, when it comes to cooking, you just kinda get down and dirty with the food. I love to just get down and dirty with the food, why not? This chicken is a blank canvas, so I can season it any way that I want. And the sweet potatoes and the onions in there are really gonna give it a nice flavor. Another thing I'm going to put in this blender is chicken bone broth. It'll help all of these ingredients mix together and blend into a nice smooth consistency. Now I'm gonna crack some pepper. I'm gonna do some San Francisco Salt Company fennel saffron salt. That sounds really good with this kind of combination. So I'm gonna just do a little bit of that. It smells really good. Do, do, do. I love salt. I'm gonna put some garlic in there because I mean, what's a recipe without garlic? Seriously. I think I'm gonna put a little oregano in there. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I have no clue how this is gonna roll. But we'll see. I might have to put more liquid in this blender, but I'll figure it out as we go. <laughs> you should kick it out! Oh, well look at that! <laughs> it needs a little bit more liquid. I'm toying with the idea of putting a little unsweetened coconut milk in that. I'm a little skeptical, but again, it's just something I kinda wanna try, so. We're gonna do it. We're just gonna do two tablespoons of this and go from there. I think I'm gonna put two more tablespoons of coconut milk in here and then I'll show you part two of this recipe. Just to recap, we've got chicken, sweet potatoes, onions, garlic, chicken bone broth, oregano, salt, and pepper in here. And oh, don't forget, we also have unsweetened coconut milk. Yes! It looks good to me, actually, but I'm kind of weird, so I like the weird stuff. Let's see, let's see how this tastes. <laughs> I love it! Oh my gosh, I love it! Oh my gosh! Now, you could eat it just like this if you wanted to eat it cold. However, what I plan to do is I plan to serve it over some eggplant and zucchini noodles. Now, I'm gonna cook these over on the stove, and then I'm gonna pour this right on top so it's a nice, warm, delicious meal. Let's head on over to the oven. Put your zucchini and eggplant noodles in a non-stick skillet. Then season with salt and cook for roughly two to three minutes over medium-high heat. Then mix in your chicken smoothie. It's that simple and looks disgusting. Okay, all you skeptics, here is the final result. Bombs away, here goes nothing. Yum, pureed chicken. Wait, no, but seriously. <laughs> <laughs> what did I just make? This is so good. And I love the addition of the zucchini and the eggplant noodles. It looks kind of weird. But I mean, this recipe already looks really disgusting. To all of those who did not want to come over today to try out this recipe, sucks for you because this is super good and I get to eat it all. I, this could, wow. I am, I am, I, I, I'm utterly speechless at how good this is. But okay, okay, I know you guys don't wanna watch me eat anymore, so I'm gonna have to say goodbye, but thank you all so much for watching, and 
Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and tell me in the comments below if you can trust me. <laughs> and also, I really wanna know if you guys have ever tried or heard of US Wellness Meats because this chicken, what? I'm a straight up effing genius. Holy mother of yum. You can eat your chicken smoothie with a fork.